Disney Star Wars The Act Light by Leslie Headland and Kathleen Kennedy is over. Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your agenda-free news. This is Jerome Hughes. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it. You see, Disney Star Wars The Acolyte just wrapped up its final episode, and it's clear that Leslie Headland, the show's boss, didn't really handle things well. Now, Disney Star Wars The Acolyte, excuse me, the Acolyte by Leslie Headland under Kathleen Kennedy held back on the things fans really enjoyed until the very end, leaving people hanging without any promise of a second season. Or so they thought. Now, Disney Star Wars The Acolyte by Leslie Hedlund under Kathleen Kennedy held back on things that fans um, enjoyed until the very end, leaving people hanging without any promise of a second season. It should have integrated those elements throughout the entire season instead of just, you know, saving them for the end. Now, the first or possibly the only season needed for the full effort of Disney Star Wars The Acolyte by Leslie Hale and under Kathleen Kennedy, not just holding on to like different stuff that fans might miss out on into the last episode, or in this case, they didn't really miss out on anything. And we should really question whether all those cool elements were a part of Disney Star Wars The Acolyte by Leslie Hale and under Kathleen Kennedy from the beginning, or if they were added later. Now... Did the first version just suck so bad that they had to throw in those scenes at the last minute just to please the fans? Because it seems like those things weren't even planned in the earlier episodes, which was probably why those episodes dragged on and were basically so boring. Now, I'm really starting to think that Disney should actually step back and let Star Wars evolve on its own without Kathleen Kennedy, even if they stumble along the way. No matter how the many subpar stories they turn out, they won't completely erode the essence of Star Wars. Now, in their take of Star Wars, they're really emphasizing Luke's stance from The Last Jedi about the Jedi flawed and often failing. And they're really driving home the idea that the Jedi aren't even aren't these flawless heroes, but rather a flawed institution that often causes more harm than good now yeah sure there's individual jedi that can make mistakes and show poor judgment but at the same time they're painting the entire jedi order as this deeply flawed organization that actually perpetuates problems rather than solving them and it's like senator ryan court's argument where they're portrayed as a group of zealots driven by unchecked emotions and many fans are embracing this narrative and actually defending it passionately arguing if you don't see the jedi as a part of the problem or even blame the villains you're missing the entire point in the prequels but to those fans those shills i'd rather you Oh, just oh, I counter with you. Basically, they're overlooking the essence of what makes Star Wars resonate with so many people. Now, back in the day, it all culminated with you know the return of the Jedi when it was about the Jedi coming back to defeat evil and make sure the galaxy's future, much like they had done before thousands of years before Palpatine's interference. Now, the message was clear: the Jedi aren't perfect, but they embody the values for striving for. Now, fast forward to today's Disney area, and it feels like they've just lost the essence that the Jedi, once symbols of hope and guardians of peace, are portrayed in a more negative light as villains. And now it's a stark contrast from the original ideas that inspire so many. Now, this is now Star Wars fans are really mad at Kathleen Kennedy, and the, who's the president of Lucasfilm, because of her role in the Disney Star Wars, the acolyte by Leslie Hetland under Kathleen Kennedy. They think that Leslie Helen is using this show to go ahead and mess up the Star Wars franchise even more. Now, there are several reasons for this kind of sentiment. For one, primary example, disrespecting the lore and legacy. Now, a lot of fans saw that Kathleen Kennedy and her team simply don't care about the established story and history of Star Wars. And they say that Kathleen Kennedy is pushing her own ideas instead of listening to the fans and staying true to what George Lucas originally created. Now, this means that Kathleen Kennedy is changing or ignoring important parts of the Star Wars story that fans have loved for years but for example fans point out the inconsistencies in how characters are developed storylines that don't match up with the established canon and an overall feeling that the new content doesn't capture the spirit of the original movies and then there's how you know kathleen kennedy set the focus on the woke ideology with diversity and representation all being forced. And Kathleen Kennedy has been very open about wanting to make Star Wars more diverse and inclusive. No problem with that. But 
while a lot of people think this is a good thing, some fans are not happy about it, believing that, you know, Kathleen Kennedy is just trying to force it onto people. More diversity storytelling has suffered. And they, they think that under Kathleen Kennedy, the push for DEI is often forced and doesn't come naturally, which they call tokenism. And these fans argue that the focus on having diverse characters sometimes gets in the way of creating a good, strong, interesting characters and good plots. But because of this, they think that the overall story becomes less enjoyable and doesn't flow as well. But I actually agree with that sentiment. But there's also the quality of the recent projects of the new Star Wars movies or Disney Star Wars and the shows under Kathleen Kennedy's leadership have gotten mixed reviews and from fans and critics. And many fans um, believe that these new projects don't line up with the whole high standard set by the original tri trilogy and prequel trilogy. And they point out the several issues of inconsistent writing where the story doesn't always make sense and the weak character arcs where the story, the characters aren't even developed well or don't change in, in interesting ways. And fans also feel that, you know, the new projects under Kathleen Kennedy rely too much on nostalgia, bringing back old characters and ideas just to please longtime fans without adding new and meaningful content. Now, big disappointments like the mixed reactions to The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker have made these concerns even stronger. And then there's also, you know, and the big elephant in the room, the whole big woke political agenda. Fans say that Kathleen Kennedy is pushing her own politics through Star Wars and they think that Kathleen Kennedy is using Disney Star Wars to act like by Leslie Hedlin under Kathleen Kennedy to promote her beliefs, which Star Wars fans believe and know goes against the original non-political Star Wars film. And they often complain about that and today's political issues are being forced into the story itself, making it feel preachy and taken away from this fun escapist feel the Star Wars used to have. But instead, just enjoying space battles and adventure, fans believe that and feel like the Kathleen Kennedy uh, is le giving basically lecturing to us about current political debates, which is not what we signed up for in the first place when we became fans of the series. Okay. Now, then there's also Kathleen Kennedy and her team insulting the fans. Kathleen Kennedy and others in the Star Wars team have been slammed for their comments about the fan base. And some, I mean, a lot of fans actually see that they're being treated unfairly by being called sexist, racist, or toxic by Kathleen Kennedy just for not looking for the, at the new direction or liking the new direction of the franchise. And they believe they're, they're expressing their opinions about the changes in Star Wars gets them labeled with these negative terms, even if their concerns are valid. Now, these this has made some fans feel alienated and unwelcome, thinking that their you know concerns are being ignored or criticized just instead of being taken seriously. And they feel that, you know, after they're being pushed away from the franchise, that they love because they're not on board with the new changes. Now, many... Star Wars fans are really upset and annoyed these days, and they believe that Kathleen Kennedy is messing up the franchise that they hold dear. And they argue that Kathleen Kennedy's approach to Star Wars doesn't match the values and vision that made the original film so beloved. And there's a fear among them that if things continue like this, basically Star Wars will only get worse over time, or yet, as many have stated or declared, that Star Wars is dead. Now, with that being said, the this is Star Wars the Acolyte by Leslie Hill and under Kathleen Kennedy. I guarantee you this is just the one and only season. Now, some people are, um, told me out there that, you know, yeah, like th th they might have a second season. I tell them in response to when I stated my claims that this might get the Willow treatment, okay? Because they stated that, you know, Willow is not well known as Star Wars. But the thing is... The Acolyte has lesser views than Willow, basically making it the worst performing Lucasfilm title, like basically under Disney Star Wars. OK, and the fact of the matter is now we see that Leslie Headland's panicking, uh, pretty sure that, you know, Kathleen Kennedy might be panicking or might not care at all. But but basically Disney Star Wars, the Acolyte is definitely a failure, if you ask me. And with the um, all the responses I'm seeing on YouTube, as well as on social media over the Acolyte, episode, um, Acolyte finale from the last night, a lot of people have actually made their concerns known. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Also, be sure to include any additional thoughts you may have this particular topic. How, did you watch the episode last night? Did you watch the whole season? Or when 
and what you're doing with the season if you started watching it let me know how you what you think about the season of the acolyte under Disney star wars let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below also if you enjoyed our share this video go ahead smash the like button share far wide across social media and if you have done so already and you enjoyed all the content that i put out there go ahead subscribe to the channel click the bell notification so that way you're notified of future uploads and updates to them peace